Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create somewhat a terminal voting system using Python. So as the video title suggests that this video is for beginners, it is not entirely true. I mean, this project that I will create will be for beginners only, but you can add many things to it. Like you can create a GUI voting system. You can add a response through SMS or an email system. You can even add an OTP system if you want. But the basic concepts of how the voting system should work is what I'm going to explain you in this video. Okay, so first let's see that how this project will actually look. So let me open the terminal here. So this is python onepy and there you can see nominee one name. Let's call it HRR, RRRR. Okay. So voter ID one. Now in the back end, there exists a list of voter IDs of, of the people that exist in that specific area. So first of all, they have to enter their voter ID. If they enter something wrong, then this message will pop out that you are not a voter or you have already voted because after each vote after each valid vote let's say that my uh, voter id is one and i have already voted so after voting if i try again to vote it will show that you are not a voter or you have already voted because we have already voted here okay so first of all the uh, program will check whether you exist in that voter id just a second you exist in that voter ID list or not. If you exist, then you will get an option to cast your vote, whether for nominee one or nominee two. Now you can prefix the name of the nominee also, but I am asking user for the nominee name here. And after all the voting session is done, uh, let me first do the voting session. So there you can see that uh, the voting session is over and HRR which was our first nominee has won by 81.88% votes okay so this is what we are gonna create in this video as I have told you you can create somewhat a more beautiful looking program you can add GUI you can add the message or email notifier or OTP system it's all on you We'll just create the basics in this video. Okay, so let's quickly jump to our editor to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to create two variables for our nominee one and our nominee two vari uh, names. So I'll add input here. enter the nominee one name okay then we'll do the same for the nominee two so i'll copy this and paste it here just change the nominee name nominee two and enter the nominee two name okay so now let's move ahead to the second part which is to create an initial variable which will actually count the number of votes that are casted for each nominee let's say nominee one votes which will store zero and then nominee uh, two votes and this will also store the value zero okay now let's create the voters id list so this uh, this variable will be voters id and this will be a list okay so let's add the number from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 people are gonna vote in this uh, elections okay now let's create the number of voters that are gonna participate in this election so I'm not gonna manually feed this, but what I'll do is I'll create a number of voters, a variable, and then we'll type the length of our voter uh, votes ID uh, variable. This will calculate the length or the number of 
elements present in this list so ultimately it will store the number of voters a more dynamic way to create this project okay okay so now let's create that infinite loop which will run until this voters list elements are ended so let's create our while true just a second while true now let's ask the user for the voter id so what we'll do is we'll create an uh, variable and then ask for an integer input and we'll simply write enter your uh, voter id okay enter your voter id number now if the voter exists in this voter id list uh, this votes id list then We'll simply print that you are a voter and then we'll remove that voter ID from the voters list because we don't want that voter to vote again. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll write voter ID, uh, sorry, votes ID dot remove and then we want to remove the voter this variable that the user has entered okay so let me explain you again what i have done here so this infinite for loop is working now i'll show you how this for loop will end in just a bit so first of all we are asking the user for the voter id this will be an integer value now if the voter that the user has entered exists in this voter id list then this if condition will work and this first print statement will be executed which says that you are a voter and then voter id dot remove voter because we don't want that user to vote again okay then we'll ask the voter that for whom he or she wants to vote so we'll simply create an integer uh, input variable and then ask enter your vote either one or two okay and then if the vote is equal to equal to one then we'll increment this num norm one votes by one so we'll simply write norm one plus equal to one okay now this same for this one also if the vote equal to equal to 2 actually let's make this elif elif vote is equal to equal to 2 then the norm 2 variable will be incremented and then let's write a thank you statement so thank you for casting your vote okay we'll copy this statement for this also now now if this statement isn't true or if the voter doesn't exist in the voter id list so what we'll simply do is we'll simply print that you are not a voter here or you have already voted okay so our first part is ready and we are extracting the votes from the user now let's move to the second part where we'll calculate the number of votes after the voting session has ended okay so we'll simply write an if condition first here so if uh, voter votes ID equal to equal to an empty list because after each vote casted that specific ID is removed from this uh, votes ID list so after a successful session of voting this condition will be executed and then we'll simply print uh, voting session over this should be a list uh, sorry this should be a string 
Now, actually, this should be inside an else statement because uh, if the voter ID is not empty, then only these lines will be executed. So this will come under an else condition. So else. Now here, first of all, we'll check that if the nominee one votes are greater than nominee two votes. So we'll simply write nominee one votes are greater than nominee two votes. Then we know that the nominee one has one. So we'll print uh, has one. And before that, we want to write the name of the nominee one, which was stored in the variable nominee. Just a second. Nominee one variable. Okay. Then nominee one has one uh, uh, with. Then we have to write the percentage here. By what percentage that uh, nominee has won this election. So let's create a variable. Let's call it percent. And then we'll calculate the norm one votes divided by this norm of voter, which is the total number of voters, the last variable. And then we'll multiply this by 100 because we are creating a percentage. Here. Okay, so nominee one, the name of the nominee has one with this percent variable percentage votes okay so let me add some space here okay so first let me explain this because we'll be just copy pasting this for the nominee too okay so if the voter id variable having all the voter ids of the candidate of the voters of this area is empty or all of them have voted then a message will be printed that voting session over then we'll check that which nominee has won. If nominee one is having greater votes than nominee two, actually this should be norm votes, uh, norm two votes. If that is greater than norm two votes, then first of all, we'll calculate the percentage by which that nominee one has won. So nominee one votes, the number of votes he got, he or she got divided by the number of votes the number of voters by 100 okay and then we'll simply print this now let's do the same for our nominee two only few values will be changed and they are this should be an elif and we are comparing this for nominee two not nominee three if if you're having three nominee, then you can add three conditions here and same here also. You can add multiple nominees as you want. So this should be for nominee two and nominee two has one here with the percentage this. Okay, so let's run this and see that how our program runs. So nominee one, let's call HRR, RRR. Okay, your voter ID one. Now, I am a voter. I want to cast a vote for one. Okay. Thank you for casting your vote. Again, your voter ID. If I enter a wrong ID, then you're not a voter or you have already voted. If I try once again for one, which is the voter ID for which I have already voted, then again, this message will pop out because that voter ID has been removed from the list. So let me quickly fill all the values here. Okay, so it's getting an infinite loop. Okay, so because we haven't closed it after each successful session, we have to break our infinite loop also. We want to break this infinite loop. So I have to run that again. Okay, so let me open the command prompt once again. Python 1.py Omni 1 name HRR RRR Okay, voter ID one. I have to give vote for one, two. Okay, so there you can see the voting session over. HRR, which was the candidate one, won by 90% votes because I only voted second for one entry. So there you can see, this is it. This was the project that I have promised you at the starting of the video. 
a miniature voting system and you can customize this according to yourself you can make it a more beautiful looking by adding some more print statements you can create a GUI you can add the feedback using a email or SMS system I have all these videos like how to send SMS how to send emails and how to create GUI all on my channel I'll provide the link in the description you can watch those videos and you can create an awesome voting system for yourself okay so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye